Every year, the EGU General Assembly takes place in a hybrid format, enabling attendees to engage both virtually and on-site in Vienna. This means you have more choice about how you share your science with others, and one of the most flexible ways you can take part is by using supplementary materials. EGU's supplementary materials use the open access publishing repository EGU Sphere to make it easier to share and discuss your research before, during and after the meeting, regardless of how you're participating. There are two key ways that you can use supplementary materials. The first is to upload a file with your data and presentation, like a PowerPoint or a PDF file. The second is to upload a video of you presenting your science. Let's explore some examples. Meet Eva. Eva is currently living in Slovenia and plans to attend the General Assembly on site. She decides to upload her full presentation as a PPTX file to her supplementary materials. This gives her the assurance that her presentation is successfully stored before she travels. It also means she's able to share much more information than can be included in a presentation alone. She logs in using her Copernicus information, then navigates to her abstract. Once she has uploaded the file, she checks her abstract page in the EGU program to make sure that it's visible. The presentation is protected by the DOI that her abstract was assigned when submitted and is now available to view by anybody else who's registered. But what if you're attending remotely? Chanda is currently working in Nigeria and has decided to participate virtually. He also wants to upload his presentation data file and wants to upload a much longer video explaining his research in addition to the shorter oral presentation he will give live during the meeting. Chanda will be able to provide much more detail about his research in a longer video, which will also be accessible for some time after the conference is finished, if he chooses to make the video open access and therefore archived in EGU Sphere. Chanda makes sure his video is high quality using the EGU guidelines available in the presenter guide and that he has added subtitles for accessibility. He then checks the file is the right size and uploads his video to his supplementary materials. Now, when he looks at his abstract page, he can see both the PDF of his data and his presentation video. Now that Eva and Chanda have uploaded files to their supplementary materials, they are ready to be commented on. Anyone registered for the General Assembly can log in and comment, ask questions, or make suggestions on the uploaded files. When doing this, please make sure you are following EGU's code of conduct and being supportive, constructive, and respectful. Comments are a great way to get feedback on your research before, during, and even after the meeting has ended. Commenting on someone else's supplementary materials may even lead to your next collaboration. After the meeting and the commenting period have ended, you can follow Open Science best practices and choose to make your data publicly accessible using EGU Sphere's open access repository. Don't worry, all uploaded data is protected by the DOI that your abstract was assigned and functions in the same way as a preprint on our systems. We are really looking forward to seeing all of your research, whether you're participating online or in person, as our community takes the next steps on our journey to our new world of sharing science. Start preparing your supplementary materials today and for more information, visit the EGU website.